third stimulus check and third stimulus package. We now know more about what is in the package and not in the package. No less than seven items that were supposed to be in the third stimulus package have now been removed. They are now executive orders. They are now laws. They are eviction moratorium, mortgage forbearance, SNAP, and pandemic EBT nationally with an increase. So what's left in third stimulus package? And why are three provisions really not sitting well with viewers of this channel and me? The reason why is because they're not as promised during the campaign trail. They're actually this small. Meantime, why is the confusion growing about things that are not stimulus checks and being passed off as stimulus checks, like a tax credit? A tax credit is not a stimulus check. In this video, I explain the confusion going around and around and around like a circle. It's sort of like looking at the entrance door to the casino and realizing you still haven't gone in to get your $12 ice cream. Or sitting down and Sir Loin sort of tells you to keep on moving over indefinitely. Just move over, move over, move over, move over. This is a big recording in which I make everything very simple and straightforward, but also show you why there needs to be a big push from the Purple Power under Third Stimulus Check and Third Stimulus Package. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's Afternoons LA with big updates about your third stimulus check and third stimulus package. To be very clear, if you haven't heard already, there is no publicly released bill on the third stimulus package yet. It has been written. It has not been released to press. However, there's also no guidance as to what day the bill would be released and whether the bill would still get modified. But there has been talk that the bill is ripe for negotiations. Hence, the Purple Power is pushing with three campaigns you'll hear in this video. Hashtag FPC Retro, Hashtag MSC, and Hashtag SS200. I'll explain to you in a second what they are. But first, subscribe to this channel. Because nowhere online is anyone explaining things clear, more accurately, and more to the point. Elsewhere, people are telling you that a tax credit is a stimulus check, or that an unemployment check is a stimulus check, or telling you that tax refunds are issued over time, over several different months. It's just the nonsense that's growing from broadcast news to other channels now is so confusing that people are literally getting their heads, getting, you know, having to pop some Advil for the headaches they're getting from it. I'm getting confused from hearing this nonsense. So stay with me and only listen to the very simple details that are currently on the books. When it gets complex, we'll deal with it then. <laughs> if you've not become a member, become a member by clicking the member link in the description at the top of the chat and also in the pinned comment. Become a Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. And you'll get access to a PDF like this, delivered and just authored today, that goes over all the items in the third stimulus package and shows you what's already existing law, tax code law, not new stuff, it's already there, before someone tells you, oh, Joe Biden's coming over with something new. No, folks, it's already law. He's just changing the numbers in the existing code. And with that, I have so much to go over. <laughs> I have so much to go over in this video. I just, I just hope I get it all done. And with that, let's get to the breaking news. The breaking news as you sit here today is that the third stimulus check and third stimulus proposal is not yet been introduced to you as a bill, but it has been written as a bill. The bill privately is at $1.9 trillion and privately has a series of provisions. Why do we know the provisions? Because I obtained a 30-page summary from the Biden camp explaining what's in the third stimulus package. The proposal got amended last week. Why? Because a series of items were removed and became law by executive order. 
The items got, that got removed included eviction moratorium, mortgage forbearance, student loan debt repayment moratorium, and SNAP and PBT. Those are among the items that went by executive order. So what's left? Well, what's left is a series of items that make sense and a series of items that don't make sense. Let's go through them one at a time. First, is there a stimulus check in the third stimulus package? There is a stimulus check. Is it a new 2021 stimulus check? No, it's a leftover, used, recycled, yesterday's leftovers, refurbished stimulus check from 2020. What's going on here? In fall of 2020, they had put to a vote and got it finalized, the second stimulus law, a $600 stimulus check. Moments after they got it to law, they said, you know what? We made a mistake. It should really be $2,000. Let's give them an additional $1,400 now in December and fix the December stimulus check. Pretty simple. They didn't like that they gave you $600 in December. So the next day they said, we want to give you an additional $1,400 to bring you to $2,000. Pretty simple. They didn't get it done. So then they said, okay, we'll take care of this fix, this fix next year. It's sort of like someone gave you a tire and realized, oh, there's a little dent in the tire. Let me plug it and we'll fix the tire for you in a few days. Well, they didn't fix the tire. They said, we'll fix the tire for you in January. Came January, Chuck Schumer and the Biden camp said, there will be a new stimulus check in the third stimulus package. Oh, okay, great. So you're going to fix the tire that's damaged from last year and give us a new stimulus check. They didn't. They didn't. All that Joe Biden is now proposing is to fix the stimulus check from December, bringing it from six hundred to fourteen to giving, bringing it from six hundred dollars to two thousand dollars by giving you that fix of fourteen hundred dollars, and nothing else. You were supposed to get a new stimulus check for the new year not being delivered. In fact, during the in fact during the campaign trail, you were supposed to give stimulus checks as often as so needed to get through the pandemic. Instead, what you're being offered is two stimulus checks, $1,200 in March of last year, and now a total of a $2,000 stimulus check, $600 from December, $1,400 to now, totaling $2,200 to get to $3,200 to get to the end of the pandemic. A total of a $1,200 and a $2,000 stimulus check to get to the end of the pandemic. <gasps> Unacceptable and certainly not what we were promised on the campaign trail. So hashtag MSC is now heating up with the purple power. This is not acceptable. A $1,400 stimulus check in the third stimulus package for individuals is not acceptable. To say, hey, I'll see you at the end of the pandemic, just sort of survive on $1,400. The adult dependents would get a $3,200 stimulus check. Next item, FPUC. Joe Biden's proposal under the third stimulus package is going forward at $400 a week. Also not acceptable. During the pandemic, during the transition, during the election campaign, and all the way up to just a few weeks ago, Joe Biden said and put in writing, he was going to pay you FPUC at $600 a week. He also said he was going to pay you FPUC retro back to July because you are not paid FPUC from July to December. Now Joe Biden is rescinding on both promises. He's rescinding on $600 going to $400 and rescinding on the retroness. Nancy Pelosi, through all of 2020, was offered $400 from the Republicans and said to Steve Mnuchin, I will never go a penny less than $600. And now Joe Biden's at $400, exactly where Nancy Pelosi said she would not accept. In fact, Joe, Steve Mnuchin offered Nancy Pelosi FPC uninterrupted from July to December at $400 a week. She rejected it. Now Joe Biden wants to start FPC going forward at $400 a week and not pay those weeks that, Joe, that the Republicans offered the Democrats in July of last year. Hashtag FPC Retro. Next, UI would be extended to September 21. PUA would be extended to September 21. FPUC would be extended to September 21. Rent utilities are really quite good, though, under the third stimulus package. Joe Biden would extend rent and utilities so that it would cover not only low income, but also middle class and also homeless people. 
childcare is included. And then we get to number 13, business grants and business loans. This is number 13 and 14 under the third stimulus package. Now, viewers have asked me a lot about this. How is it? What is it called? How does it work? What if I got a business grant before? Don't know. He hasn't said anything. Janet Yellen, a week ago tomorrow, said that the business grants and loans of the third stimulus package is nearly 30% of the bill. Well, that sounds really good. But is that going to ensure that it's a new business grant? Is it dependent on the prior EIDL? Is it prior, dependent on a prior PPP? Joe Biden says of the business grants that it's for existing businesses impacted by the pandemic. That's all he said so far. Of the business loans, he says if you want to start a new business, he will give you a business loan to start a new business. Sounds wonderful, but what are the details? Don't know. We don't know yet. Then we get to paid sick leave. This is actually a really incredible, great provision. Up to $1,400 a week if you work and you have to stay home because of four external events. One, you have COVID. Or two, a family member has COVID that you have to stay home and take care of. Or three, you have to quarantine, self-quarantine, but don't have COVID. Or finally, the most obvious and most reoccurring circumstance. Your child is healthy, you're healthy, but your child's school is closed. So you have to stay home and take care of your kid and cannot go to work. $1,400 a week up to. How does this calculate? It's based upon a $73,000 2019 earnings at $1,400 a week. So if you make more than $73,000, you would only get $1,400 a week. If you make half that amount, you would get half of $1,400 a week. Very easy, breezy, and really great news. Number 16 on the PDF for members of this third stimulus package proposals. Again, not yet law yet, not bill yet publicly, but a bill privately. Student aid of $1,700 per college student. How do you get it? Is it a grant? Is it a loan? Don't know, but it sounds really good. Then we get to hazard pay. Hazard pay public sector, hazard pay private sector, and earned income credit hazard pay coming up in a second. Let me go over the first two now. Hazard pay public sector, Joe Biden says that money will be given to state and local and that they will ultimately pay you if you're a public sector employee that's a central worker based upon what they so determine. You don't have to do anything, it's automatic, but it only would apply to people who are currently employed by the public sector agency, like state and local. Next, private sector has a pay. Don't know. The new hit show on Overnight's LA at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time every day is Hazard Pay. I'm live in the chat. It is a tape show, but I'm live in the chat answering your questions. And the videos are very important because I explain how Nancy Pelosi was going to have Hazard Pay written in the HEROES Act, the $10,000, the $13 an hour. How does this work? How does it calculate? What type of hours are included? Those details I can go over with you. But Joe Biden has a pay? Haven't seen the bill yet. All right, now let's go to items number 20, 21, and 22. These are tax credits. Boy, I mean, I'm not here to... <laughs> I'm not here to police nonsense. But the nonsense that has circled on social media, on broadcast news, in print media, and other channels this weekend about these tax credits, which I've been detailing to you for over a week. I've been going over this PDF for now over a week. This is the latest revision. Is taking tax credits and just confusing viewers who may not even know what a tax credit is and calling it a... Uh, calling it a Rolls Royce when it's not a Rolls Royce. It's, an, it's, it's, a, it's a baked potato. It's very, very strange what they're doing. Let me explain what a tax credit is. A tax credit is an item that appears on a tax return. That's what it is. That's all it is. A tax credit may trigger a tax refund check for you if there's zeros on the tax return and if everything else is currently in place. But a tax credit is a line item on a tax return. Well, let's tell, let me tell you what's going on here. S everywhere, left and right, from channels to broadcast news, are calling tax credit stimulus checks. Excuse me? 
That's the first thing that makes absolutely no sense. It's not a stimulus check. It's not a stimulus check. It's part of the tax code. It's like calling it a deduction for your lunch a stimulus check. It's nonsense. The next thing that's happening is that there was one insanely absurd, ridiculous bra uh, newspaper that ran an article that said, Joe Biden is thinking of taking the tax credit and having it paid over 12 months. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> First of all, tax credits impact the tax return when you file. <laughs> They don't impact the tax return progressively over 12 months. That's the first thing. Second, if it triggers a tax refund, guess when you get the tax refund? Shortly after you file the tax return. You don't get the tax refund in, in installment payments over 12 months. The news article in this newspaper said, hey, there's this brilliant idea that Joe's come up with to give you installment payments, repayments of a tax refund over 12 months. First of all, Joe never said that. <laughs> You never said that. Second, who would want installment payments on a tax refund that's owed to you in March or April, you know, 30 days after you file a tax return, to be paid to you over next year in installment payments a month, every, a check every month for 12 months? It's insanity. So like, let's make this very simple. Under the earned income child, under one of the tax credits, you could qualify for $3,600 as a tax credit. Okay, you understand what a tax credit is. It's a line item on the tax return, $3,600. Well, if you have all zeros and a series of other things happen in the tax return, that could trigger a tax refund of $3,600, meaning a check of $3,600 lands in the mail to you in about 30 days after you file a tax return. Pretty simple? Pretty simple. Okay, all right. So guess what this news article thought would be invented to tell lies to American people about? Joe Biden wants to take that check that would land in your in, in the mail 30 days after you file a tax return and send it to you in installment checks over 12 months of the same amount that adds up to $3,600. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> that would sort of basically annihilate the entire tax code. It would basically say, hey, instead of tax refunds, you're just getting things over time. And, you know, you get to wait for 12 months while the federal government collects interest on your money on the tax refund. Uh, excuse me? Let's just make this very clear. Joe Biden has not said this. <laughs> In fact, Joe Biden wrote the exact opposite. And to make this even more bonkers, here we go. Joe Biden actually details for you the tax credits. They're not stimulus checks or either. And the tax credits that Joe Biden is talking about are currently on the books. The first one, expansion of the earned income tax credit, is what Joe Biden says. Notice the first word, expansion of the existing earned income tax credit. It currently exists, the earned income tax credit. He just wants to expand it. He wants to increase the number, increase the eligibility. It's already a law. People are acting like the law doesn't exist yet. <laughs> Next one. He wants to increase the child tax credit. Notice that verb again. Increase something that already exists. Yeah, it's not, it's not something new. <laughs> I don't know where people are getting this insane news from. And then finally, he wants to uh, modify the child tax credit. Okay, that's good. It's already currently law. Uh, it's very weird. But bottom line is... Tax credits can be modified. Tax codes can be modified. Every sitting president has, who has nearly ever come on into the, into the administration of the White House has always changed the tax code in some regard. And changing the tax code doesn't create a stimulus check. It just changes the tax code. It may provide stimulus relief to you, but it's providing stimulus relief, not sending you a stimulus check. Needless to say, there's a lot of strange confusion out there, and that's why I hope to make it easy, breezy, and clear for you. There's only one stimulus check, and it's not sufficient. The FPUC is not sufficient. And finally, the SSI and SSDI, not sufficient. What's going on with that? Joe Biden had promised $200 a month on top of your existing SSI and SSDI benefits till the pandemic ends in December 2021. He has yet to say this statement in writing or in press conferences since his transition. He said it in the campaign, he wrote it in the campaign. He said in the transition, he said in the transition. But since he's been elected, he's gone silent on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits and veterans benefits. So where is this clearly stimulus item of $200 a month currently now? It's in silent mode. 
That's why the viewers aren't happy, nor am I. Hashtag SS200. Step up, Purple Power. Start the campaign. Take this video and share it with the hashtags FPC Retro, hashtag MSC, and hashtag SS200. Don't accept from politicians who promise for you something, and then that when they get elected, they underdeliver and act like they never said it to you before. It's time to start pushing. Push, 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 stay focused, stay positive, and I'll see you next on Being a Mitch. If you've not subscribed, please subscribe. Hit that alert button on this video, and become a member by clicking the member link. But become a Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay on that life for more.